Arte is reporting that uh, EU foreign minister back Russian asset tax uh, scheme, according to Bloomberg. The EU is uh, moving forward with uh, plans to impose a windfall tax on income generated by frozen Russian assets, Bloomberg reported on uh, Tuesday, citing uh, sources. Block members, foreign ministers, approved the tax on uh, Monday and their ambassadors will discuss the steps later this week, the outlet claimed, citing people familiar with the matter. The report came after EU foreign policy chief Joseph Borrell said on Monday that member states had uh, reached an agreement on the windfall, windfall tax and that uh, the bloc's ambassadors were expected to green light the decision to first accumulate the funds on a separate account and then use them in ukraine well yet again man as i said by the way these uh, these people um, officials in the west uh, in eu in this particular case they will come up with all the all the legislation that they need all the agreements that they need to steal russian assets and they will to steal frozen Russian assets, and they will, by the way, I have no doubts about it. Uh, and uh, I was saying this from the very beginning, because that's what they are. They cannot help themselves, they, they're gonna steal it. And uh, from free, about free, roughly 300 billion uh, USD Russian assets that are frozen by the collective West, 200 billion is in uh, EU jurisdiction, and about 100 billion in US jurisdiction. And uh, on both uh, sides of um, At Atlantic Ocean, capitals are discussing and looking for a ways to steal this, these assets. And by the way, we have a first potential candidate from EU, which will uh, be first to steal these Russian assets because we have information that Belgium has already made up here its mind, uh, according to Lalibre media outlet, which is based on uh, statements of uh, Defense Minister of the Kingdom, uh, Ludivine uh, Dodonder, Dedonder, and uh, most likely before end of 2024, uh, Belgium will transfer to the regime 611 million euros of uh, profits from frozen Russian assets. So it's still Russian assets, isn't it? This is profit from uh, Russian investments and it belongs to Russia. But, uh, well, as I said, man, these people cannot help themselves. Entire Western collective West, entire richness of West is built on stealing, robbing, killing, destroying for centuries. This is true history, by the way. I mean, if you are from Belgium, you may not like it, but Belgium was one of the most disgraceful uh, colonizer state. They committed, by the way, genocide. Who was the king of Belgium? Leopold or whoever was. In Af what, what Belgium was doing in Africa, it's unimaginable. Even Brits probably were horrified. Can you imagine that? It's just in case, you know, just to know what we are talking about here. Uh, so, as I said, man, they cannot help themselves. And this uh, so-called ruling class of the West, it's a, it's a, it's a clans or families or clans that are in uh, elite, elitist position, in elite position for, uh, for generations and generations. And they learn from previous generations what to do, how to do it because that was the example for them and therefore they are all thieves killers criminals mass murderers disgraceful despicable human beings entire ruling class of the west is uh, is, is garbage basically historically speaking factually speaking and therefore as i said they cannot help themselves they will steal because that's what they do historically those ruling class of the west and I, I'm not surprised that Belgium is first, man. Anyway, let's continue. 
Ian Novosti is reporting, and Belgium would not be last also. Ian Novosti is reporting that uh, in um, US, uh, low, US lawmakers, by the way, are now uh, having row exactly on this frozen Russian assets, on topic of Russian frozen assets, because these so-called lawmakers in, in US cannot agree which way will be better to steal these assets. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That's the level of uh, ruling class and, uh, and, and so-called elites in the West that in US lawmakers in, uh, in Senate on, in full seriousness are discussing which way is better to steal frozen Russian assets. They have nothing else to do. I mean, in US, country that is on its way to, you know, we all know in which direction US is heading, isn't it? Especially on the leadership that they have right now. And they are discussing how to how how better to steal Russian assets. One side uh, of US lawmakers uh, don't care about nothing. They just want to steal it and give a, give a right to president of uh, US, Joe Biden, so that he will take responsibility and he will um, allocate all those frozen assets as uh, uh, by by signing whatever papers he will be given. But uh, there are other group of lawmakers and they want uh, first to consult with the G7, other G7 members. Uh, most likely because, uh, I mean, they want uh, those others to be also involved in this uh, theft. And, uh, well, let's see which party will eventually win. Uh, they will find some agreement, after all, and uh, well, they're gonna steal Russian frozen assets, of course. Of course, one way or another, but they're gonna do it. And they're gonna justify it uh, with the ideas to support Ukraine. Of course, they care about Ukraine so much so that they already killed 600,000 Ukrainian citizens. They push Zelensky to sacrifice 600,000 lives of Ukrainian citizens. And uh, over a million Ukrainian citizens get winded, uh, lost their legs, hands, uh, their lives have been destroyed. And uh, just because Washington and uh, London, Western ruling class, didn't allow Zelensky to sign agreement, peace agreement with Russia in uh, March, April 2022. So... They did sacrifice uh, millions and millions of Ukrainians that are now scattered all around the world. But they still care about Ukraine so much so, by the way, that's what they're going to tell you. They care about Ukraine very much. I mean, they feel sorry that uh, they are such a, you know, good human beings, those, uh, those uh, ruling elites of the West that, I mean, they cannot sleep at night. They, they think about Ukraine constantly and therefore they're going to steal these Russian assets. I mean, it's necessary. It's justified. God told him that, you know, and uh, and they're going to send this money to the regime, of course. Of course. And well, people will applaud because propaganda is propaganda, how it works, man. Vast majority of Western society is like zombies, man. They, they don't understand nothing. They just don't have idea what the hell is going on in this world. But they lose, listen to this BBC crap, CNN crap, Fox News crap, friend, uh, this, uh, what, what the hell is uh, TV stations or newspapers in France, whatever it is, man, La Figaro, they read that crap. And, uh, and therefore they have no understanding of anything in reality. And they will applaud any decisions that these this criminals in the elites of the West are making, of course. But it is what it is, man. And eventually, of course, from 300 billion frozen Russian assets that uh, West will steal, Ukraine may see, I don't know, just a few percentage of it. The rest of it eventually, of course, will end up uh, on bank accounts of these multinational corporations, mainly from military industrial complex and in pockets of these corrupt politicians how else but anyway anyway moscow is prepared for such a development preparing at least 
And RIA Novosti conducted its own investigation. RIA Novosti is a Russian news agency. And according to, uh, according to RIA Novosti, in case if Russian frozen assets uh, will be seized in the, in the West, then uh, Moscow may retaliate by confiscating Western assets in Russia for 288 billion US dollars. Uh, so, well, and by the way, I'm 100% sure world, world will understand this Russian move because this is retaliation. But world will never understand why Western, collective West is stealing assets of other countries. And once, it, once they did, once they began stealing those assets, just uh, look at the outflow of investments from the collective West. People worldwide gonna go nuts. They will, they will begin racing with each other. Who will withdraw funds or investments from the West uh, earlier? So it's gonna be immensely damaging for the for the Western economies. But and by the way, financial institutions of the West did warn about it. The European Central Bank did warn about it that this is a bad idea to steal Russian assets. But as I said, man, Western ruling class is a, is a Western ruling class. From generation to generation, all they did is rob, steal, kill and destroy. And wealth of the West is based on this stealing and robbing. Let's be clear here about it. They were robbing entire world, almost entire world for uh, three to five century, by the way. And, uh, you know, they see this 300 billion and they want to take it. They, they are sick, man. They cannot help themselves. You know? But anyway, anyway, enough of, of the talk of those uh, despicable uh, individuals in the ruling class of the West. Um, 